Hi, welcome to Nursing Mantra. I hope all you are keeping well. My name is Shinsei Josh. Today, our video is related to BSc Nursing Admission. What are the things we have to consider while we are taking BSc Nursing course? For nursing, there are lot of courses are there. First course is ANM, Auxiliary Nursing and Midwifery course. After 10th standard, uh, you can study ANM course that is for two year program in India. So here in UAE and all you will get assistant nurse title even your course duration is 18 months more than that you will get assistant nurse title uh, same like a diploma nurses title you will get. Next is general nursing and diploma after plus two you have to study for three and a half years general nursing and diploma courses. Then bachelor science in nursing BSc nursing that is for four years eight semesters okay semester wise then after bs nursing if you wish to proceed your career again then you can study master's degree in nursing msc nursing msc is nursing having different specialties there community health nursing in msc community health nursing msc medical surgical nursing which i have studied in critical care then uh, msc in um, pediatrics like that different msc in ob gyne is there then after msc then MPhil is there. MPhil is for if, if full term is means uh, it will be for one year uh, regular study means uh, or if it is a part time you are doing means a uh, two year program MPhil you have to study. After MPhil uh, there is another or uh, even after uh, MSc you can study PhD program. PhD program two to three years duration is there depends on your uh, guide and depends on your university the time duration will different how fast you are completing your research process based on that your PhD program getting completed that's why three five years like that it's saying okay so and there are so many diploma courses are there after your BS bachelor science in nursing or after your uh, general um, uh, nursing and midwifery there are diploma programs so for one year diploma programs are there like a post basic diploma uh, course in the operation theater technology uh, then uh, neonatal nursing psychiatric nursing then critical care nursing even nurse practitioner diploma is there for critical care nursing for two year under INC it is there for the colleges list and all you will get it from the INC site this is the courses for the nursing this many courses are there and post basic BSc nursing that is very important after your diploma you can study post basic BSc nursing don't worry if you are a diploma nurse you can upgrade your uh, studies by doing the post BSc nursing and it will be equivalent to the BSc nursing okay soon after completing the diploma courses immediately you can join for post BSc for two years and you will be out for, B for the BSc nursing now we will check the criteria for admission for BSc nursing the minimum criteria that means the mark for the admission that is 55 percentage and for getting the loan and all it is 60 percentage marks is required. For BSc nursing uh, the science group must be there that is uh, biology, chemistry and um, physics will be, uh, should be there. Then next criteria always you have to check the Indian nursing council portal www.indiannursingcouncil.org okay you can check there the list of affiliated colleges like a list of approved organizations it is updated 2023 february it is updated list is there in the site you can check the colleges which is approved by the inc www.lbscenter.kerala.gov.in that is a website so under that we have to register and we have to upload the necessary documents information and all those things based on that you will your marks and all you will get the allotment so in that allotment it's you are not satisfied and you are not getting and you need the admissions in the private colleges other than Kerala like Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh like that and all you can go for the private college option also even your marks uh, little less also or if you want to move there uh, for studying a different language or uh, improving your communication skills also you can select other states uh, if you are not interested to stay in Kerala as we know that for the BS nursing there are eight semester by uh, semesters are there and uh, different uh, subjects are there 
little bit hard to study but if you study very well in the future it will be easy for you to attend your NGLEX examination, CBT UK examinations and other all exams, Gulf Prometric exams and all. So my suggestion when you are studying itself you can refer the library books in your colleges. Uh, international uh, books and all you can refer and study and make notes it will be helpful for your future if you study in that way not only giving the notes which is giving in the colleges more than that you have to acquire more knowledge when you are studying so this complete year totally you have to spend the time only for studying okay so it will be easy for your future no need to turn back anything um, in the future if you study well most of the parents having fear about the educational loan. How we have to get the educational loan? So in India, Indian government has given one website for the applying for the educational loan that is Vidya Lakshmi. Okay. So we have to register in the Vidya Lakshmi portal for educational loan. Okay. You have to select the priority list of the bank near to your area, which one of the banks are there. You can select the priority bank list and give the basic informations by logging the site, basic details, uh, everything has to give. And when we are uh, doing the account, it will be joint account will be there, your parent and you because you are minor. Then both your parents and you also must have the PAN card. So soon after your plus two exam, you must make arrangement for all these things. Okay, for educational loan, we have to upload your Aadhaar card, uh, Voter ID card, then your PAN card, ration card, income ca certificates, okay, um, then nativity certificate, everything we have to upload in the site, in the Vidya Lakshmi's portal. Uh, after that, the college will give you the admission confirmation letter, college bona fide letter, fee structure, all year fee structure from the college and the government order is there for the college, okay, it is INC approved or KNC approved, like, means RGHS approved, um, Karnataka Nursing Council approved like that, different, each state will be having different section like that. So it is approved like that, that uh, document also from the college you have to get. These four documents uh, we have to upload in the Vidya Lakshmi portal and other all your personal details also. Then after that we have to take the printout of the application and we have to approach the bank for the educational loan. Okay, maybe they will give the DD, sometimes they will give the um, deposit to your account also. This is the way for the educational loan. And what about scholarships? I know that most of you will be having aware about the scholarships, the merit scholarships is the e grant scholarship is there. So the merit scholarship 25,000 per year for the hostelers and all 30,000 and all providing that is fixed amount each year we have to apply for the scholarship like that. But other e grant scholarship and all that is the first year fees which we already paid that you will get the refund and all so based on the criteria and all. And there are so many uh, things are there further regarding this admission process, okay. So this is related to the BSO nursing process. Now we will uh, discuss how we have to register in the AIMS website that is All India Institute of Medical Science. For that about 941 seats or something is available for the BSO nursing this year. Already the application is going to complete this March. Um, 16th okay the basic um, registration three steps are there for the aims registration the basic registration that is will be the last date closing date is for the 16th march 2023 then after that generation of the code and select the um, state where you want to uh, write that one door. that's before 22nd we have to do and before 22nd march 2023 we have to make online payment okay and uh, for the exams and june 3rd will be the aims exams will be there so now itself it is started the application are already going to complete okay you have to uh, do the registration as soon as possible if you didn't register for the aims examination entrance examination same like that for the jipmer and other central uh, government organizations for the BSO nursing colleges you can check their portal and you will find all the details about the BSO nursing programs and entrance examination you can do the registration don't worry if you didn't get any admissions okay or you are not confident that you will get admissions in your state uh, your mark will not be sufficient or you can't pass the entrance examination maybe ask COVID and all you didn't study properly the um, science 
subjects and all it's uh, very difficult for the entrance exam like that if you think then don't worry there will be private colleges small private colleges in Karnataka there are a lot of colleges are there colleges will be there they will be having admission uh, but always we have to do the admission process earlier like soon after completing your uh, plus two examination you have to do the registration okay if you plan to move anyway you will be having idea how much score you will get for the uh, plus two okay that means uh, uh, first year on the first year basis or I have an idea when I was studying okay this much mark in between this much mark I will get like that based on our capacity we under we can identify that's why it is very important to do the admission process earlier itself okay March month itself or April starting itself we have to do the admission in the colleges because what we have what is happening in private colleges and all last section if you are going means the seats will be very less and you will get the bus uh, like not good colleges and all you will get the admissions so before itself nice colleges you can select okay nursing mandra is giving assistance for admission assistance where i have studied the master's degree in nursing in that college we are doing the admission process and all uh, so if you want the admission assistance for your bsc nursing post bsc nursing msc nursing or diploma nursing you can contact nursing mandra at any time you can contact nursing mandra whatsapp you can send a message okay I hope you understood clearly about BSC nursing program.